Fighting out of Ilford, Essex, England, Connor, the Destroyer Ben. Connor Ben, a fighter overlooked by many welterweight boxers, but in his recent fights, he has improved so much to a point where fighters are avoiding him. But he has the biggest fight of his career and that fight is against Chris Eubank Jr. And let's see how Conor Ben will be able to beat Chris Eubank Jr. The jab. The jab is a punch that is rarely used by a short boxer. However, short fighters such as Mike Tyson and Floyd Mayweather have used the jab to perfection. Ben is also one of them short fighters who use the jab to perfection. The jab helps him control the distance as well as set up his dynamite combinations. He must start every combination with the jab against Eubank because if he does not, Eubank will counter him brutally. High volume punching. Connor is just like Eubank when it comes to throwing loads of punches in fights. Especially in the Vargas fight, Connor's high volume of punches allowed him to stop Vargas within a round. Something Khan, Ortiz Jr, Spence Jr or Garcia couldn't do. Throwing a high amount of punches in the fight against Eubank Jr will really aid Connor to victory as this will pressurize Eubank and create opportunities for Connor to land a powerful punch. Mixing up the combinations. Ben's ability to mix the combinations to both the body and the head has really helped him against tough fighters. By mixing up the combinations, Connor has been able to be less predictable in the ring, meaning that there is a less chance of him being countered by his opponents. The speed and power of his punches in recent fights has been amazing to see. If he could apply this ability to mix his combinations against Eubank, then he will make it a short night of work against him. Just quickly, if you really want to improve as a boxer, why don't you get your boxing training sessions analysed by me. These analysed clips are going to be very similar to the ones that are in my videos, but they are going to be based solely on you to help you become the best boxer you can become. Here is my email address as well as my Instagram. If you are interested, then please message me and let's get started. Okay, back to the video. Keep the backhand up. With both Connor and Eubank being orthodox boxers and Eubank's favoured punch being the backhand uppercut, it is very important for Ben to keep that backhand up at all times. The reason for this is because by keeping the backhand up, Ben will be able to parry or block the incoming uppercut. Also, whilst moving his head, he should keep that backhand up to have that extra protection against Eubank's vicious uppercuts. Attack the body. As we all know, Eubank is the much bigger boxer, which means he will have the size advantage. This means that he could use his size to tire Connor out. Just how Tyson Fury does against his opponents, what Connor needs to do is that he must attack the body of Chris Eubank Jr. These body punches will slow the movement of Eubank down, allowing Connor to be in his comfort zone of standing toe to toe. These punches may not be as effective early on in the fight, but throughout the rounds they will take a toll on Eubank. Connor must make sure that he times and lands these body punches on a regular. Counter punching. In the Chris Algieri fight, Connor won the whole fight solely on counter punching. These vicious Vicious counters allowed Connor to KO Algeri which sent a statement to the whole welterweight division. Even in his previous fights, Connor has always been a great counter puncher. At times you can see how hesitant Connor's opponents can be when they are boxing with him because they are very fearful of getting countered. Ben must time and land these vicious counter punches against Eubank as these strikes may grant the victory for Connor Ben. Slipping and ducking the long straight punch 
punches. Without a doubt, Eubank will be looking to throw long straight punches in the fight. Connor will have to come in close to have any success in this fight. His head movement will be key in doing so. Connor's head movement has really improved in his recent fights. His ability to slip, duck and even roll his opponent's punches will play a crucial role in the Eubank fight. Being able to dodge Eubank's powerful straight punches will give Ben great opportunities to counter the taller boxer as well as frustrate Eubank as well. Thank you